This is Andy Purawa for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm joined by Mikey Garcia in the aftermath of Josh Taylor's victory against your camp mate Jose Ramirez. Uh, Mikey, first and foremost, obviously commiserations for you and the camp. Just your thoughts on the fight? It's a great fight, great fight. Um, we expected a tough fight, you know, both uh, fought very well. Both had success in different different stages of the, of the fight, different rounds. Um, you know, you can't you can't be mad. You know, I, I think I think uh, we can all agree that it was just a terrific fight. And uh, Taylor had the the edge with those knockdowns. You know, that's that's what got him the victory. Uh, I'm proud of Jose. You know, he he fought very strong even after the knockdowns. Kept fighting, you know, very strong and still had success after that. But uh, Taylor definitely, you know, deserves his, his his congratulations for the victory. Mikey, what did you make of fight as the rounds were progressing before we obviously coming on to those two knockdowns? The other rounds around him. Well, I think I thought the momentum was 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 in, in Jose's favor. I thought Jose was picking up the pace well, started to land some good punches on Taylor until the knockdown occurred. Uh, Taylor started to get that confidence after that, and, and and Ramirez had to maybe take a little a, a little step back and slow down a little bit to recover from that knockdown, which turned the momentum of the fight around. What was the game plan heading into the fight? I know beforehand you can't talk about it. Now the fight's happened. What was the initial plan? Well, it was it was to be very aggressive on the inside, um, to to work off of the jab coming inside inside, um, taking Taylor to the corner to the ropes where you can work more comfortably. That southpaw style, southpaw uh, stance is a little tricky on the outside. But once you have him to, towards the corner and the ropes, you can work a little more comfortable. So that was, that, was, that was basically the game plan, you know, work on the inside, start with the body, and, and, and finish up on top. It was just, it was just not, sale, sale, orale, I remember, you. yeah, sorry about that. Um, Mikey, just a couple more quick ones from me, just with regards to yourself. I know beforehand you were spoken as a potential for opponent for Josh if he was to defeat Jose. Would you be interested now in stepping in with him? I would love the opportunity to get in the ring uh, with Josh. You know, um, we actually had asked about that uh, or a year and a half ago or a little more than that. Um, uh, it would never happen. The fight never happened. You know, he had other game, other plans. If the fight was offered right now, I would definitely, definitely take that that chance. Um, I mean, to, to, to fight, you know, a great fighter like he himself, you know, would be great. I think the fans would really enjoy that too. And then the final thing, I know you was hoping or waiting on the potential Manny Pacquiao fight, but he had a fight announced with Errol Spence yeah. uh, a couple of days ago. Just your thoughts on their fight and their announcement? I think it's a, it's a very good fight. You know, we were waiting to see if we could land that fight with Pacquiao. Didn't happen. I've heard about this a little while ago, like a week ago, and I started making some phone calls already because I knew it wasn't going to gonna happen. Um, he's got a, a great fight, you know, Errol Spence has a great opportunity to, to fight Manny Pacquiao. Um, uh, a lot of people think Spence knocks out Pacquiao, I don't think it goes that way. I think Pacquiao fights very well, I think the fight goes a distance. I think Spence does win, but uh, in, in a 12 round decision. And Mikey, I appreciate your time tonight, um, I'll leave you now to go and obviously join the team. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. You're welcome, I appreciate all the love.